Governor Jared Polis today introduced a new executive order, and it's one that addresses a concern we've heard from many of you. Going forward, all critical business employees in Colorado will be required to wear a face mask. That includes grocery and fast food workers, among others. The governor also announced new changes to long-term care facilities like nursing homes to help further protect our most vulnerable population. News Channel 13's Chase Colightly is live at our newsroom tonight to break down both of these big changes. Chase. Bart, we've heard several complaints from viewers telling us they have seen grocery store workers not wearing masks while on the job. Now the governor is making it mandatory for anyone deemed an essential employee. Many grocery store workers were already taking it upon themselves to wear masks on the job, but some weren't because it simply wasn't mandatory. At this point, I think mandatory makes more sense. That's why on Friday, Governor Jared Polis announced an executive order mandating that all critical businesses and government employees wear the protective coverings. Most employers and em workers are already doing this, and we salute them for their proactive steps. But uh, we don't want to prolong the pain for everybody else just because some aren't. But it's not just grocery store workers. Public Health Order 2024 is aimed at everyone from pharmacists and law enforcement to hospital staffers and caretakers. Basically anyone that still has to go into work. Another big change coming to Colorado, the governor announcing stricter guidelines to help protect the state's most vulnerable population. We need to really up our game in practice in all of the senior care facilities across our state. Starting now, there will be additional screenings with extra precautions for anyone entering a nursing home, as well as stricter enforcement. Additionally, facilities will be required to have a plan in place for when a resident does contract COVID-19. To require long-term care facilities to develop a detailed isolation plan. A plan that will need to be in the hands of state officials no later than May 1st. Governor Jared Polis has also called in the Colorado National Guard to respond to three of the state's largest nursing homes to administer tests and help prevent spread of COVID-19. Reporting live in our newsroom, Jay Whiteley, KRDO News Channel 13.